And you know, when you dabbled in taking on Trump, people noticed. Then you did a whole project, Make America Crip Again. What does that mean to you? Um, it was just, that was sarcasm. You know what I'm saying? I was basically trying to answer the red with the blue and put some, you know, some love back in the, in the world because I felt like we was headed towards a lot of violence and negativity with that as the, as the backdrop. So I wanted to answer what a backdrop that could be for those who wasn't about going back to the old ways of America and putting slavery first and making black people less than others. And, you know, if you wasn't white America, you wasn't right America. There's a lot of mixed relationships. There's a lot of people who work together, who love each other, who, you know, can't live without each other. And it, it ain't about what color they are, or what their race or religion is. It's about the spirit of who that person is. And, you know, once you start looking at that, you can't really go that far back and try to recreate some things that was not and the advantage of people like myself. Isn't, isn't that wild, Snoop? Because you've led on this. I'm thinking about Nipsey. I'm thinking about YG. I'm thinking about so many artists who, what you just said, hip hop went global because it was diverse and embraces diversity. What is it important for you that people understand about that and that diversity? I think they get it because hip hop used to be a bad thing. It used to be a taboo. Like parents didn't want their kids to listen to it. We couldn't get on the radio. They censored our music. They wouldn't let us in stores. They banned artists. They locked us up. They persecuted us. Now hip hop is America's favorite now. We're the most attractive thing about America. Go outside of America and ask people who are not from here, what do you love most about America? <laughs> and they're going to say, it's either a rapper, somebody in hip hop, or something that has something to do with the culture that we built. Yeah, it don't have nothing to do with their American or none of that. I'm just mm. telling the perspective of people outside of here because they realize and they love the fact that we've created a culture that's for everybody. Hip hop has never been racist. Hip hop is for everybody. The minute a white rapper walked in, we accepted him. When an Asian rapper walked in, we accepted him. Latino accepted him. African accepted him. Colombian accepted him. No matter what country he's from, we accept him. Just think about that. Think of how generous the hip hop culture has been when it was started by some black men 